I never would have guessed it, but I used the, the whole pail. Yeah. South side of the roof here hasn't fared too well. Luckily, my renovation plans are going to eliminate a lot of it. As much as possible, I may have to pick up a little more steel roofing. Anyway. I was going to say it's supper time, but it's past supper time. Yeah, I was down looking in the water, and there's a bunch of little tiny minnows. Let's see if we can see, yeah, see them swimming away as I walk up. See them all? I don't know if you can see that or not. Like a fish nursery. So, must be some big fish in there. Something's laying the little fish. Unless they make their way down, I don't know. Well, even then, they've got to be growing into big fish. Oh, I still have a lot of work to do. Anyway, there's supposed to be rain coming Sunday night. So that'll uh, help that situation. There's actually vapor barrier underneath the slabs because this cabin was never intended to be lived in in the winter. What a difference. You come around this side that doesn't get the sun, it's standing up pretty good. Okay, time to relax. We got some honkers in our pond. They were actually like right here. <laughs> We've been sleeping now. Neat. believe how much has melted. I'm going to get out in the canoe again today and just fart around. Wow. Can't believe how much has melted. Woken up earlier, was, there was some geese that landed over there, honking away. Oh man, I, I think by the end of today, I'll be able to get out there. Cool. Beaver's not too happy about me coming around here. Oh, there's another one over on that side. <laughs> I'm surrounded. <laughs> I went by their lodge. They're not very happy about that. I think I'm being escorted off the property. He's following me. Or leading. Leading me. Oh, another message. <laughs> well, we're not going to get any closer. There's a a mad goose down there. That's his little territory. I'm sure he's got a mama goose down there. Beautiful. Yeah, there's mama goose. They'll probably nest there maybe, I don't know. Guess we're gonna make our way back. It's going to work. It's a little tippy. I'll put it down a bit. Oh, no, I'll rest it against the 
cross piece. I just forget what it's called. Yeah, that's better. I'll take you along for the ride for a little bit. Of vegetation where I'm going here. This is probably where the bigger fish are. If you remember that. Oh, I think that's an old tree. That's what that was. I thought that was live vegetation. I'm just looking under the water. Uh oh, I got some logs coming up. Am I going to clear them? It's probably the best time of year to be out here. Just after the spring thaw. Oh, I love the look of all the, the dead trees along the shore. It's haunting looking. Okay. Love the look of that. Man, you cannot uh, stop steering for more than five or ten seconds. Not even ten, five seconds. You're drifting towards a big boulder. All kinds of lines through it. It's weird, this just shut off automatically. Hmm, I'll have to look into that. Usually, maybe it doesn't sense any movement or something because we're gliding along in the canoe. I don't know, but I didn't turn it off. Past the ridge here, heading back. Making our way back to the beautiful little cabin. Oh, here TJ shaking his ears. You must see me. The uh, tree went down here over the winter and it pulled up a big boulder with it. Isn't that cool? Neat O. There's the DJ. Saying, where you been? <laughs> what a beautiful day. This is the last of our little mini summer. It's going back to seasonal tonight, so I thought I'd better get out. All the peepers are out. Well, we went from having three days of ridiculously warm temperatures giving us a beautiful weekend of temps in the mid 20s to what is it now plus one and snowing and it's supposed to rain and snow all day I think it's a movie day today. Where is he? Where is he? 
There's about three squirrels out here. And they're all driving TJ crazy. Oh, look at that one teasing them. <laughs> oh, he's having fun. Having fun teasing him. Get his back legs stomping. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, this one's got some character. I think he's left the tree now, but he's somewhere else now. He's making a fool of you. Yeah, he's making a fool of you. Yeah, he's over here now. Or that's the other one. Maybe. <laughs> Hard to keep track. Freaking trunks to tease him. It's hilarious. <laughs> oh, he's telling you off. over here now. Look at him. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh, he's telling you off, TJ. Are you, you going to take that? Are you going to take that from him? out you can see his ripples in the water oh there he is his head's popping out for a split second where is he gonna go I can I see him oh there he is Cool. Probably looking for some food. There he is again. Here she knows. So the gooses, the gooses have arrived. Let's see if we can get, get them on the camera. Well, there they are over there. Or is it only one? It's a wet morning. It was raining all night. Supposed to hold off till one or two. What time is it now? Just a little after eight. I'll go for a little walk in the back of the property. I'm going to decide if I want to go for a little ATV ride now that all the weekenders have gone. See what kind of shape they've left the trails in. I don't know. Looks a little sketchy. Oh, got 
get some more visitors. Those are probably the two males there. Well, oh, no, that's the male. So that poor, that's a bachelor. That's how bachelors get treated. <laughs> now, is that one getting chased off or did I get the pairs mixed up? What's going on? Apparently they're polyamorous. <laughs> no, no, that one landed again. Maybe his mate got something happened to it. I wonder what they taste like. I don't think it's legal to hunt them though. It's just ridiculous. They'd be a hard bird to hunt though, like, because they mate. I think they mate for life. I always feel bad. I have to kill both of them. That'd be hard. You want to leave one. They're probably pretty nasty though. They're a big bird. I don't know. There was a proposal once to feed, like use them for food banks, because they're such a nuisance. This is when I was in Toronto. And everybody freaked out about it, and it didn't happen. Made too much sense.